Hello, this video will explain how to perform ohmmeter tests on your MUT ignition coil and some of the differences between some of the aftermarket coils that are available. Little disclaimer here, even if your coil tests properly with these ohmmeter tests, it can still be bad or intermittent when it's cold or hot. These are just basic tests to see if the coil is within the specifications. And the specifications are the primary should be 5 to 6 ohms and the secondary should be 11,000 to 15,000 ohms. And that's what we're going to be measuring here with this ohm meter. The first coil we're going to be testing is a uh, new old stock USGI government coil, the real deal. And as we can see here, it's measuring 5.99 ohms, which is well within the 5 to 6 ohm specifications. And we're measuring across the two terminals, the positive and negative terminals, which is the primary of the coil. The next step we're going to be doing is moving the probes to the secondary part of the coil. And now that measures 14 point five eight thousand ohms and that is within the specs of eleven thousand to fifteen thousand so that's good here is a test of the coil known as the chrome or Chinese coil the primary is eleven point nine one ohms almost double the six ohms it's supposed to be here's the secondary eleven thousand ohms so this coil passes on the secondary test but the primary is what is important and that is at a specification. Here's the latest newcomer. This is the black coil and it measures 11.8 ohms. Still double the ohms of the primary of a USGI coil. And the secondary measures 12 Point two thousand ohms within specification but the primary is still not the right resistance. Now what we're going to do is actually measure the voltage of these coils operating. To the right you see a high voltage probe that's capable of measuring 40,000 volts and to the left is a scope meter and this will be capable of reading the voltage coming out of the ignition coil. I'll do a little explanation here. The radical we're going to be showing on the scope, each little tiny box is a division of 10,000 volts. So if we count all the boxes, one, two, three, and times that times 1,000, which is the probe, that means this coil, the US original new old stock coil is putting out 30,000 volts. Each of those little pips you s see on the screen is when the coil is actually firing and this was done simply by connecting the probe to the secondary and just rotating the distributor. So that is uh, an excellent output voltage and it looks great. The next waveform here is the Chinese coil or the chrome coil this coil is only putting out 18,000. See the little boxes? It's less than two. So it's only putting out 18,000 volts. Nowhere near to 30,000 volts that the uh, new old stock coil is putting out. So that's not great. Would it work in your MUT? It probably will, but it's nowhere near to 30,000 that the real deal puts out. Here's the newcomer on the block. This is the black coil and it is measuring around 20,000 volts. Still not the 30,000 volts that the real coil puts out. So what does all this mean? It means that none of the coils on the aftermarket are putting out the voltage that they should be. And they've taken some type of shortcuts in the construction of these. Since the primary resistance is double the resistance of the real coil, that says one of two things. Either they put more windings 
with thinner wire or they stuck a ballast resistor inside the coil. They've taken some type of shortcut. Whatever shortcut they've taken, it's reduced the output voltage by 10,000 volts. Will that work in your MUT? Yeah, it probably will. Is it what it should be? Not really. So this is why some people have some luck with these aftermarket coils and some people have no luck at all depending on the state of your ignition wires, cap, rotor, your engine compression. 20,000 volts might not be enough to make your mutt run properly. 30,000 volts will. So this is a real dilemma for us because none of the aftermarket coils are made to the proper specification. Now just so you know, I also checked the uh, new old stock coil at 12 volts. At 12 volts it put out 20,000 volts where at 24 it put out 30,000. Uh, at 24 volts it drew 3 amps from my power supply. The both Chinese coils, well let me rephrase that, the chrome coil and the black coil both at 24 volts drew only 2 amps and that seems to make sense. The resistance is higher so it's not going to draw the amount of current that it should in order to generate good secondary voltages. So keep your guys your eyes open guys because somehow some way someone has got to have a stash of new old stock coils because right now none of these aftermarket coils are worth their weight in whatever. It's just a terrible situation Hopefully something better has got to come along. Right now, nothing seems to be good. Take care.